Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to rename your folders in the quick access area in File Explorer. So when I say rename, this is more of a workaround than actually renaming these folders. And you'll see what I mean in a minute here. Okay, so let's say you wanted to rename the documents. For example, you could right click on it. You know, there's no options to rename. Even if you go to the properties, it just kind of tells you where it is. Nothing you could do like that. And of course, you know, any other folder like the spreadsheets folder, I could right click on it, pin to quick access, no problem. And even if this folder was a shortcut, let's do that real quick. I could do that as well. But those are for normal folders. But if you want to do the same thing for your Windows default folders, you have to do it a different way. All right, so let's start by making a shortcut to the Documents folder and show you why it doesn't work. So I'm going to do a new shortcut here. I'll browse to the Documents folder. I guess you could even do it from here too if you want, because it'll still use the correct path under uh, Users, Username, Documents. And I'll call this my docs for my new shortcut here, like so. And now if I right click on it, if I click on pin to quick access, you can see it gets rid of the documents folder because it thinks you're trying to reverse it. And then if I pin it again, it just puts it back, but it keeps the same documents name. It doesn't use this my docs name. So that's why this doesn't work for these default folders. All right, so to get around it, we're going to use a command. So it's mklink forward slash j with the link and the target. So the first thing you need to do is create your shortcut with its new name, and you can put that anywhere you like. All right, so I'm going to do that in this D drive here again. And I'm going to call it Todd's document, and it's going to be based on this folder here. So the command is mklink slash j Todd's documents because that's what I want to call it the new folder and that's where I want to put it right in this D drive here you could put it wherever you want your desktop in your regular documents just somewhere that you'll be able to access it and somewhere you want to keep it and then the path to the real folder okay so let me copy this so now I need to run the command prompt as administrator so cmd run as administrator Okay, now I'll paste this in. All right, so what we're doing, mklink, so make link. So here is the destination of this link and its name. So the D drive, root of the D drive, Todd's documents, that's what I want to make my new folder. And then what it's referencing, so the original path for the documents folder. Okay, junction created for Todd's documents. So let's go back here. All right, so now what we could do is we could pin this to our quick access like so. And you'll see it has the same documents as the documents folder. And then of course we could get rid of this one by unpinning it. And now we just have this one. And if we want to change the icon, what you need to do is before you pin it, you'll have to uh, change the icon. Otherwise it doesn't seem to update if you try and change it when it's pinned. So let me unpin this. Go back here, Properties, Customize, Change Icon, and there should be a Documents folder there. You can see you won't have one for videos and music and desktop. Okay, click on Apply. Okay, so now we have a Documents looking folder. Now we could right click, pin to quick access, and now we have Todd's Documents with the extra documents. It just has a little shortcut arrow next to it, which is no big deal. Okay, so once again, mklink, make link, where you want the link to be made or the shortcut folder. Make sure it's somewhere you could access and somewhere you want to keep it, you know, in your documents or your desktop or something like that. And then the path of the folder you are referencing with it. So in this case, the documents folder. All right, so I will put this in the description and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.